Roger Federer is looking to win the ATP World Tour Finals for the seventh time and starts on court at the O2 against American Sock this afternoon. The 36-year-old has a 3-0 head-to-head lead over Sock with their last duel in March when Federer won 6-1-7-6 at the BNP Paribas Open semi-finals in Indian Wells. This is Sock's first time competing at the tournament, but Federer is not taking his opponent lightly after he won the Paris Masters earlier this month. He had a wonderful week in Paris. He was almost out in the first round against Kyle Edmund and then ends up winning the whole thing, Federer said. He's confident and likes the big stage. It know that from the good match we had in Indian Wells. I can expect a tough one. Roger Federer vs Jack Sokolov denotes next on serve. Federer has two match points and wins the match at the first attempt despite Sock's desperate attempts of a challenge on the final point. Job done for the Swiss as he salutes the crowd. Sock gets back in it, and then his hard work is undone with a double fault. Sock frustrated as his error sees Federer moves two points clear. Some impressive tennis from Federer. He's turned it up a notch at the 0-2 with some delicious forehands. Federer holds once again, and it's into the tie break we go. Sock should do better at the net, but fires into it to allow Federer to level at 15-15. Federer pulls off a brilliant drop shot at the net to set up breakpoint but can't take advantage as his shot lands beyond the baseline. Sock successfully challenges a call on his serve and then serves again to hold. Just Sock looks like getting nowhere near breakpoint as Federer reels off another game without dropping a point. Federer takes the first point before Sock responds with an ace. WOW. Federer pulls off the shot for the match at 1540 down with a backhand lob and makes it to deuce when Sock hits the net on the following point. Federer has breakpoint, but should do better, and sends his shot long. Sock can't make the most of his advantage before he then has to save another breakpoint. Sock eventually holds, but that looks to have taken a lot out of him. Federer seems to be upping the pace on his serve. Sock can only return it high in the air and Federer punishes him from the net. Federer takes the first two points before Sock pulls off an impressive forehand that his opponent can't return. An untimely double fault gives Federer two break points, but Sock survives them. He rattles off another two points to stay in the game. Impressive stuff from the 25-year-old. Delightful tennis from Federer as he gets to the net in a split second to smash the ball past Sock. The American lets out his frustration as another game passes him by. Sock hits straight back and races to a 40-0 lead before Federer forces one wide, and it's game Sock. Federer is unable to control a mid-court half volley into play, but
but at 15-15 delivers a serve and backhand volley winner on the stretch to move 30-15 ahead. Sok can't find the breakthrough and Federer holds. Sok moves ahead for the second time in this game as he fires down his sixth ace. But he needs to find a break from somewhere. Federer is showing no signs of letting Sok back into it, though, and at 40 15, the American plays his shot beyond the baseline. Sok goes 40-0 up on his serve with a delightful drop shot that has the crowd cheering. Federer fails to make Sok's forehand and falls behind on the opening game. Sok plays Federer at his own game with backhand winner to level at 15-15. From there it's three quick points in succession as Tess Wiss wins the set with an ace. Sock showcases his quick feet as he reaches a shot close to the net and sends the ball down the line. An impressive response from Sock who wins at 40 0. He'll need to break Federer now, though, to avoid losing the first set. Back to normality for Federer as he goes 40 0 up before Sock gets a point. But it's to little avail as the Swiss moves within one game of the first set. Federer gets the first point with a delightful forehand down the line. Sock responds with a serve taking Federer wide that the Swiss gets to only for the American to fire the return into empty space. Federer misses an absolute sitter from close range to gift Sock that one. Sock even turns his back expecting Federer to get the point and can't believe it himself when Federer's shot doesn't make it over. An ace from Federer makes it 30-30, but Sock takes him to deuce two points later. Sock hit the net to hand Federer the game. Much better play from the world number nine as he races to a 40-0 lead. Federer gets one point back before Sock double faults for the first time in the match. And then Federer pulls off a naughty backhand return to take it to Deuce. Sock eventually gets the decisive point as Federer's shot is out. Sock is yet to find the answer to Federer's play, so far. A combination of forehand and backhand winners sees Sock not even attempt to try and return them. Sock is still trying to find his feet and Federer is punishing him with his backhand as he makes another fine shot to make it 15-30. The American holds his nerve, though his Federer's shot goes wide, and Sock gets his first game on the board. Federer races to a 30-0 lead before some neat work around the court takes Sock level. The Swiss then makes the most of his advantage at the first attempt as he overcomes a long rally to lead 2-0. Ashoki start for Sock as he loses the first two points before serving up an ace and then sending a strong forehand down the line to draw level. Federer responds with a forehand winner of his own, and then Sock can't reach a fierce backhand.
Not the start Sock would have wanted. So it's ATP World Tour Finals time, the last chance to secure a title in 2017. All eyes will be on Roger Federer with the bookies and the pundits backing him to secure his seventh victory at this tournament. But Rafael Nadal who is in action tomorrow could be the man to stop Federer's season ending on a high. First up for the Swiss is American Jack Sock, though .the players are making their way out on court. <laughs>